It's early Thursday morning, April 4th, 1912. Titanic has just arrived in Southampton after traveling from her builder's yard in Belfast. A few hours later when daylight broke, workers began the difficult and dirty task of filling Titanic's bunkers with more coal for the voyage across the North Atlantic. However, coal miners across the United Kingdom are currently on strike. This strike became known as the National Coal Strike of 1912 and shortened the supply of coal to ocean liners. On the following day, April 5th, White Star Line's parent company, the International Mercantile Marine, have decided to cancel some of their ship's schedules and transfer their coal to Titanic. Two ships that were affected by this were the SS Oceanic and the SS New York, which can be seen tied up in Southampton. Titanic was severely underbooked for its maiden voyage. Passengers who had booked passage on any of the other affected ships from the strike were automatically transferred to passage on the Titanic. As Titanic continued to be loaded with coal, a fire that had started in Belfast was still burning in the coal bunker, located between boiler rooms 5 and 6. This kind of problem was usually dealt with by using the coal that was on fire first and moving it to the next bunker to try and put out the fire. At the end of the day, 4,227 tonnes of coal had been loaded. Including the coal she already had from Belfast, she now had a total of 5,892 tonnes, a bit short from her full capacity of 6,611 tonnes, but this was still enough to take her across the Atlantic without any issues. While Titanic was being loaded with coal, it was decided not to have the ship open to the public, as the coaling process was extremely dirty and caused a lot of issues. After the coaling was complete, White Star ordered for the ship to be repainted with a fresh coat of white paint on her superstructure and forecastle to cover up any dirt that had accumulated during the coaling process. The next day, Titanic started being loaded with her cargo and provisions. First class passenger William Carter's brand new Renault town car was loaded into the cargo hold. This is something that can be seen in James Cameron's 1997 Titanic. However, in reality, the car was placed in a large wooden crate and was not visible. Titanic was taking a huge amount of food and beverages for her journey. On the following two days, April 7th and April 8th, workers continued loading cargo on board the ship. Titanic was also getting a thorough cleaning, which included clearing away all the dust from the coaling process on the previous days. Titanic's refrigerators were also being loaded with the last portions of fresh meat and fish. After the repainting of the white superstructure had been completed, White Star decided to put a new coat of paint on the funnels. On the night of April 8th, Titanic's boilers in boiler rooms 3, 4, 5 and 6 were also lit, as they needed more than 24 hours to reach the pressure to operate efficiently. The boilers in boiler room 2 were already operational, as they were required to supply steam to the machinery used to join the ship's time in port. April 9th was reserved for any last minute changes that had to be made. This gave workers a window of 24 hours to make any last minute changes or to make any adjustments needed before the maiden voyage the next day. Titanic is currently waiting in Southampton. Her remaining crew and passengers will board tomorrow for departure from Southampton at noon. Tune in next Wednesday to see Titanic depart from Southampton, marking the beginning of her maiden voyage and her arrival into Cherbourg, France.